Darwin FPV BB Pro. First look and unboxing. I'm gonna do this one first because I've marked that box. I will need a receiver fed. We have uh, an XM Plus. It'll do the job. I'm also going to at some point try and fit the uh, TBS GPS to its light. There is a uh, possibly a spare UART. Uh, I might need to use a soft cereal on it, but I'm not sure. But either way, I should get that working. I'm going to just do this receiver first. That'll be in the next video. This one is just to show you what's in the box. <laughs> okay. First of all, we have a propellers. We have green here. There's another blue set for the other quad. These are green ones, they're small. I might possibly have some replacements I can use as well. I'm gonna check that out shortly. We got a piece of foam. We all like a piece of foam. I do I like to stick stuff on foam. It's always good. We get a couple of Darwin FPV cards with the QR code on. That'll be for maybe instructions or something, I'm not sure. We will check that out. Um, there you go. You got a phone, start uh, scanning the screen. <laughs> Let's see if I can get a bit clearer. If not, I'll post it somewhere. Sometimes you can read off the screen. Moving on, we have one a lovely instruction leaflet. It's really just the flight controller, what it is in the pinouts. But what we got with this one is a flight controller, we've got the camera. And uh, there is some LEDs on it, but I don't think they're colour changing, I'm not sure. I'll have a closer look when I open the quad up. They've got all the shiz in there anyway. Whatever you're connecting up. And then you got the little goodie bag. We got a little rubber strap. We've got the bands. We got some cable ties. We got some little screws and nuts. And of course, we got the Darwin FPV stickers. We like stickers. And then, last but not least, we have. Can we zoom in that? There we go. We have the little ape itself, it's so small. I'm gonna set it there. Scared in case I break it. I will lay at the measurements at some point. Into the camera, see. there we go. There's a rough idea of the measurements. About 120 millers, maybe 122 mil. About about 111. Or if you're rather in centimeters, we are about. 12, maybe 12 and a half centimeters by about 11 and a half. Like I said, I'm going to fit the uh, the XM Plus receiver. What did I do it? Like oh, that's the GBS the receiver. It's very small. I'll show you. It should fit inside there. Brilliant. I've used it a few times. I will need to flash the receiver. I'm going to do that in the next video. And I'm going to install it, very small, it will go in here somewhere underneath, plenty of room, best bash, bosh. Uh, the GPS I'm not so sure about, interference and all that. I even felt in the head, but maybe too much interference. It's made for 1S to 3S batteries. We have uh, 
enough of each, so we will be trying it 1S, 2S and 3S and recording the flight times. USB sockets in the bottom of the quad on here. It comes with a camera which is the Ant Nano. You do get it in the standard camera as well, but seemingly it's not very good, so I went for the Pro. And we've got the flight controller, and we've got the VTX there. It was at the back. Got an XT30 lead for the top. It could be bomb mounted as well, I suppose, the battery. Or maybe at one point I might might just try maybe a couple of two S's. Uh, just running those two S's, one on top, one on the bottom. Yeah. It does take up to three S, but yeah, I wouldn't push it on a four S, it'd probably fry stuff. The wee LEDs are there, are different coloured ones here and here, so I presume they are different colours. In the next video, we will be hooking up the uh, XM Plus, putting the props on, putting all the bits and bobs on, and uh, giving it a test fly, of course. I'm going to stick it beside a 5 inch quad. Spare a 5 inch one, do give me one. This is a, probably one of the smallest 5 inches I've got without props on. That just gives you an idea. There's a 5 inch romba with no props on. And there is your sort of sunny whoop. And your average tiny whoop. So you're definitely bigger than the old uh, tiny whoop. Obviously there's a lot of good reviews out lately over the last year and a bit since the, the quad come out. I'm not so sure about the, the pro camera in it. Uh, this is a new batch that have just come out. I do believe they're still on back order and stuff at Banggood and other places. This comes straight from uh, Darwin FPV, which have been very helpful. Uh, there was a bit of problems getting into the factory because of certain things. And uh, just before that, it was the new year. So anyway, after the new year, they were due to go back and dispatch the two that I got. They didn't get sent out because they couldn't get back to the factory. I was assured as soon as they did, they would get them sent out, and they they done that, they come on a 48-hour delivery, which took about a week, I think, a week and a couple of days, maybe, which was super fast, and uh, hopefully the uh, quad quality is as good as the uh, sale and delivery quality. Anyway, check out the next video, where we put all this little thing together, and we'll see if it flies. Keep keeping it real.